now. Let me show you how one of our veterans managed to make this transition with the help of Chapter 36 Counseling. As I transitioned from the military, I knew I had to find a new career quickly. So before I even got started out, I started working on a resume. But I didn't really know how to translate my military skills to civilian employment. The last time I did a resume, I was 16, applying for my first job as a bagger at the local grocery store. Things have changed a little in the workforce since then. When I first met with a VA rehabilitation counselor, we discussed what type of job I was looking for and the outlook for that job in the local labor market. She also took a look at my resume and provided some really good feedback. For one, I learned I shouldn't use a lot of military jargon when applying for certain jobs because the employer may not understand military lingo, which means they won't have a good understanding of my skills either. I also removed my social security number and birth date. I learned that a 10-page resume is probably too long, <laughs> and it'll likely send my resume straight to the recycle bin instead of to HR. The counselor really took time with me and reviewed my abilities, aptitudes, and interests, and afterwards said it appeared that I have some marketable skills. She said it appeared that I should have no problem getting a job, but I just need to best showcase those skills to show an employer that I'm the best person for the job. When I've told people about the VA career counseling that I received, they're like, is that it? <laughs> They can't believe that I'm so happy about that. But you know what, those little tips, creating a strong resume, how to best display your skills, that type of career counseling could be the difference between me getting or not getting a job. For me, that's pretty major and was just the edge I needed to help me get back into the workforce. So, you see, 